Hello, beginning students. Here is the second part of your video lesson for this first week of 2021. If you already watched the video on the rosin wraps, then you're in the right place, okay? We're going to now review our Twinkle Little Star Rhythms. So <clears throat> um, we learned most of these in the first part of the year, but we're gonna go back and review them all now just to make sure everybody's really got them under their hands and you feel confident um, and secure with these different rhythms. The first rhythm we'll review is the theme, and this is the one that most of you played. It's the one that sounds like the song. So let's go ahead and start off shadow bowing. So you can take your instrument, set it down somewhere safe, and we're gonna shadow bow and sing the rhythm. So shadow bowing, um, if you watched the first video, you should know what we're doing here. Um, we're gonna shadow bow over the shoulder once for violins, and then we'll shadow bow over the stomach for cellos, and everybody can do it each time. Just know that uh, I'm gonna do it both ways, okay? So my feet are on the floor, I'm sitting nice and tall, take a nice deep breath and soften the shoulders. Check in with your beautiful bow holds, nice round fingers, uh, nice bent thumb, make sure it's flexible. And then violins and violas can tap their pinky on the stick. Cellos, leave your pinky where it was. Cellos, you can come above your belly button here. And violins and violas, you can come hover over the shoulder. Shadow bowing just means we're bowing without making a sound. So it's a shadow, right? It's silent. Here we go. We're going to sing and practice the rhythm for the theme, which goes like this. Quick, 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 slow bow. All right, hopefully you remember that. Here we go, let's do it together. So we're finding about the middle of the bow over our shoulder or the belly button, and here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Quick, 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 slow bow. 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 Quick, 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 quick. Slow bow. Beautiful. Let's try that again now, but I'm going to pretend that I'm a cello player instead of pretending I'm a violin player. So here we go. You can find it over your belly button. Violin and viola players, still keep your bow over your shoulder, but do it again with me here. Here we go. One, two. Here we go. Quick, 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 quick. Slow bow. Quick, 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 quick. Slow bow. Quick, 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 slow bow. Beautiful. Let's try it on the string now, all right? So you can go ahead and get your instrument out. I know a lot of you might not be in tune and I know some of you are also missing the string. So if this is, if your instrument is sounding really, really bad, you can wait until your check-in with me and I'll help you tune. Um, or you can just shadow bow again. It's totally great if you just wanna shadow bow again. Um, and I, I'll go ahead and play it and you can either play along with me or shadow bow and sing quick, quick, slow again. Here we go. So if you are gonna use your instrument, again, feet on the floor, nice deep breath to soften the shoulders. Check in with the bow hold while it's still down. Tap that pinky, violins and violas. Everybody wiggle the thumb. And nice deep breath to come up. Either you're shadow bowing at the middle of the bow or you're on the D string at the middle of the bow. If you're using your instrument, find a nice tall uh, stop sign for violins and violas bird wing for cellos and curl the fingers over the A string. Our first note is on the A string with the finger, but we're gonna start on the D string for the first note. Here we go. One, two, quick, slow. <laughs>
down, take a nice deep breath. Make sure your shoulders are still relaxed. And let's do two more and that'll make five times today. Here we go. Feet on the floor. Beautiful round bow holds. Nice and flexible thumbs. Tap the pinky, violins and violas. Deep breath to come up, find the middle of the bow. Tap the pinky again, violins and violas. It's really easy to lose that curled pinky and it's very important. Nice tall left hand shape, bird wing stop sign, curling the fingers over. Here we go. One, two, 17, go. <laughs> deep breath roll the shoulders back and down make sure you stay nice and relaxed we do have one more time on that one but actually just to switch it up we're gonna go backwards and we're gonna review one more rhythm and I think if we're going backwards rhythm five was strawberry blueberry yeah I believe it was so let's go ahead and try strawberry blueberry as a little review now for this one these ones are a little bit trickier because they don't sound like the song, okay? We still are going to do the same notes, um, D, A, B, A, but we're gonna put this rhythm over the top of it. Strawberry, blueberry, strawberry, blueberry, strawberry, blueberry, strawberry, blueberry. This time as a review, let's go ahead and just do one note at a time. So I'm gonna go strawberry, blueberry, D, or A, next, da, 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 so you know what note's coming next, all right? That'll be a great way to review this um, trickier rhythm. So let's do the review of Strawberry Blueberry, and then we'll go back and we'll do one more time of our quick, quick slow, okay? So feet are on the floor, take a nice deep breath, roll the shoulders back. Again, if your instrument isn't totally working or it's sounding out of tune, you can always just shadow bow. D, 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 A, 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 A. And that's gonna be great, okay? That's gonna really, uh, if you're singing it, that's going to practice, that's going to be just as helpful if as practicing on the instrument, okay? So singing and moving your bow is still a great way to practice, okay? So don't feel like you're not doing anything if you're just practicing with the bow. Find that middle of the bow or find your shadow bow position. Find the D string. Nice tall left hand shape. Curl the fingers over. Here we go. Starting on the D string. Strawberry, blueberry, ready, and try it. A, next. B, next. A, next. G, next. F, sharp. E, next. deep breath make sure your shoulders are soft it's so easy to get tense in the neck and that's not gonna help you play that's just gonna make it uh, painful and a little bit more frustrating so the last thing we'll do today is one more time of the theme 
okay? So the theme is quick, quick, slow bowing, except it goes quick, 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 slow, six quicks and a slow, right? So we end up still having eight beats. There's always going to be eight beats in the line. It doesn't really matter which rhythm we do. There's always going to be eight beats. Sometimes we do a strawberry, blueberry. And sometimes we do quick, quick, slow, but it, it ends up being the same amount of time. Okay. So our left hand, our fingers over here are always doing the same thing. All that we're changing when we change the rhythms is the bow. Okay. What, what is the bow doing? And it's going to do a bunch of different things. So we really get used to some different rhythms without having to learn a new song. Okay, so that's why we're going to do all these rhythms again. So find your beautiful bow hold again. Last one for today. If you want to check it on the knee, that can be kind of helpful to just put it somewhere. Make sure your pinky's round on violin and viola. Bent thumb is nice and flexible. Fingers are curled, spaced out a little bit. Okay, here we go. Bring your instrument up. Nice tall bird wings for the cellos. Find the middle of the bow. And here we go. Nice tall left hand shapes. Bird wings or stop signs, there we go, we did it. Curling the fingers over, last one for now. Quick, 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 slow, go. That's good, okay? I really wanted to, today to review something and not do something too new and too hard for you. So this week, I'd love to hear you play your twinkles again. And I would really also love to hear you play your strawberry blueberry rhythm for me. So I would like to hear you play the theme this week one more time, just to make sure that's clear. And then as well, the strawberry blueberry. You can do it for me with stops, okay? And that's gonna be awesome. So thank you for finishing this whole video. Thank you for being great students, and I'll see you tomorrow.